Hello, my name is Chris Kiek with Kiek Technology Solutions. In this video today, I'm going to talk about defining temporary snap reference points. And this is basically allowing you to do inputs out in the model where you basically have a point that is not easily snappable already in the model. And you don't want to have to lay in construction lines or construction points to do so. So let me just show you a very quick example of this. Right now, I want to put in a beam that's three feet over to the right from the top corner here, but there's no point in space to do that. So if I wanted to do that, what I would have to do here is I would right click and say define temporary snap reference point. Now, this is one of the two ways to do this. Now, when I choose this, I can then click on this point here. And when I do that, you'll see that Tecla still at the lower left hand corner says to pick the start point of my beam. So that was not actually seen as the start point of my beam. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just go ahead and hover my mouse to the right and then I can type in three feet and the numeric snap location dial box appears. And because I hover my mouse to the right and I type in this distance, it's going to offset the start point of my beam exactly three feet away from that temporary snap reference point. So I'll press enter or I can press OK and you'll see that the start point of my beam has now been uh, picked at that three foot distance away. And then I can put in the second point here for the other point of my beam. Now, let me just show you the other way to do this. So I'm going to delete that out. I'll activate the beam command here, and then I'll press the control key and I'll hold it down on my keyboard. So I'm going to hold down control. Then I'm going to click here at that reference point and then let go of the control key. When I do that, hover my mouse to the right, type in three feet. It's the same exact process here. And now you can see that that beam was offset three feet to the right. Now, let me show you in 2024, something that's been uh, frustrating me for quite a while and I couldn't figure out exactly what was going on. I thought it was something specific to the command, but there's something going on with the new direct modification functionality and the newer versions and some of these uh, new commands. And I'm demonstrating this in 2024, so I want you to watch out for this. Now, the first one is actually uh, using the split command. So I oftentimes train people how to split up webs here for three plate uh, or built up members. Now, what I'm going to do for that is I'm going to go to the edit menu and I'll go to the split command. Now, when I do this, um, Tecla says here, hey, pick the part to be split. So I do that. And then what I often do here is I want to right click and say define temporary snap reference point. And then I'll click here at the, at the top left. And then look what I do. I'm trying to hover to the right and then go ahead and do an offset just like I was doing before. But look at what's happening. These dimensional inputs are kicking in. And so I can tell that Tecla is using some form of direct modification graphics or something in here. And uh, this actually trips up putting in the temporary snap reference point. So watch this. I'm going to type in 20 feet and then press OK. And look at that. The split doesn't happen. It doesn't recognize that when I use the right click and the snap override using the defined temporary snap reference point. Now, look at this. I'm still in the same command. I'm going to pick the, uh, or actually I'll interrupt just to start over, right? So I'll split, I'm gonna pick the part, and this time I'm gonna do this temporary snap reference point, but I'm gonna do it using the control key. So I'm gonna hold down control, click, hover my mouse to the right, you still see the graphics, but if I type in 20 foot and hit enter, voila, there's the split. Now just to show you that it wasn't a fluke and I'm not just a bad user here, I'm gonna go ahead and go to split command, I'm gonna pick on this, right click, Define temporary snap reference point, which I really like doing it this way. It's a little bit slower than the control left click, but when I'm training, it's way easier for people to understand in their minds when they're new users that there's this actual uh, action of defining the temporary snap reference point. The control left click, I've just been doing so many trainings for so many years, it trips people up. So I do it this way on purpose so that way they can kind of see the actual progress of this action. So I'm going to click that, I'll then click that point there. Hover my mouse to the right, type in 20 foot, and sure enough, it doesn't work. So there's something going on with the new direct modification graphics or something like that that is actually messing up that uh, right click to find temporary snap reference point on some of these commands. So I'm going to demonstrate this next with the bolt command here in 2024. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in here to the left side of the web and I'm going to put in a, a slot. Okay, so this would be like a slot for some cable or rod bracing on the web of this member. So I'm going to go up to the steel menu at the top of Tecla. I'll activate the bolt command. 
And in 2024, they've added all these new options here for putting in the bolts. And, uh, you know, I'm not against any of these new features. They're, they're, you know, functional and they have great purpose. But what happens is I can tell that direct modification entry is somehow being used here because of this new flyout toolbar that's going on. And so just to demonstrate and do in training, I typically still go back to the old school pick two points to define the X axis and the kind of guiding direction of the bolt group. Now, Tecla says here at the lower left hand corner, pick my part. So I do that. Then it says pick other parts. Well, there's no other parts. I'm just putting in slots. So I middle mouse button. Now it says pick the point to integrate uh, the bolt group origin. Well, here we go. I try to put a slot six inches over and three inches down. Okay, so to do that, I offset from the corner. Now, what I do here is I usually try to train and show define temporary snap reference point. So I will do that. So I'll click here and then I will then hover my mouse over to the right. And just as an example, I just want you to see if I typed in six, it doesn't do anything. It actually doesn't uh, register that initial point. And look at that, it puts my bolt right in that initial point. That's not what I want. Okay, so if I go back to the bolt command, again, I have the same exact switch here set. I'm going to pick on my part, middle mouse button, and then this time I'm going to control left click, hover my mouse over to the right and type in six. And now that is actually seen as an offset. And then I can kind of do my point downward and you'll see that the uh, temporary snap reference point actually worked using the control left click. So this really gets me messed up all the time. Let me just do this uh, like what I actually do. So I'll, I'll do this and I'm going to put the slot in the web. So I'll click that middle mouse button. Then I'll, uh, you know, what I like to do is say define temporary snap reference point. And then I'll do R for relative. And I try to do six comma zero. So six in the X, zero in the Y comma negative three, because this is an elevation view. And look at that. It just com completely messes it up. It just does not work. And then it was just very frustrating because it, you know, when I did the temporary snap reference point, it just wasn't recognizing that uh, with this direct modification. But if I do the same command, pick the web, middle mouse button, control left click, then do R and then do six comma zero comma negative three. Boom, that works just fine. And then this is what was really tripping me up is here's another thing. Look at this. Ortho is turned on down here at the bottom, but check it out with this direct modification and graphics that's going on here, the ortho does not work. And this is extremely frustrating. So it's not even just a temporary snap reference point. If I'm trying to just hover my mouse to the right, it doesn't work. Let me do control two, just to try to make this transparent and see if it's not hitting on the solid and nope, it doesn't work. So you know what I'm having to train users to do is either go perpendicular back to this side of the web to get that horizontal line. Or if I just, you know, if I'm zoomed in and I'm not seeing that and I'm out in the middle of nowhere, then I tell them, hey, you got to do R for, you know, relative from that point. Then I'll do like six or something like that, comma zero. And then boom, there's my horizontal additional point there off in space. But that costs so much extra time. So there's these are the things where, um, you know, just uh, just uh, some of the new direct modification graphics. I, I love the new features and kind of trying to give the visual feedback, but it can kind of mess you up and mislead things. So new versions, <clears throat> until they kind of look at this, the way to navigate that is use the control left click to do the temporary snap reference point rather than doing the right click. So again, instead of doing this right click, even though it's a little bit more intuitive when you're first learning to do it this way, the uh, way that seems to work uh, without problems and is technically a bit more productive is to basically do the control left click and that sets the temporary snap reference point.